I'm Ryan Sunglia, sports editor of Rappler.com. We bring you weekly highlights as we count down towards the Manny Pacquiao vs. Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight on May 2nd. The headlines this week. Manny Pacquiao spars with UFC fighter Deshaun Johnson. The Pacquiao vs. Mayweather official commercial is released. And what if Mayweather lost? Pacquiao's trainer Freddie Roach recently revealed Pacquiao would be working with a special sparring partner for this training camp. Roach said the sparring partner was a former member of the Mayweather gym and would work with Pacquiao in the final two weeks of sparring. We have our suspicions, but that's something we'll break as soon as there's confirmation. One sparring partner isn't such a mystery though, and that's former UFC fighter Deshaun Johnson. From Explode MMA, Deshaun Johnson. He fought twice for the mixed martial arts company in 2014 and has a modest boxing record of 15, 19, and three with five knockouts. The 27-year-old from Escondido, California, tells Rappler he has been sparring for two weeks at the wildcard gym, working five sessions to that point, three to four rounds at a time while switching in fresh opponents. Johnson tells Rappler, Pacquiao's work ethic isn't like anything I've ever seen. He's such a hard worker and has a solid group of guys around him always pushing him to the limit and giving him positive encouragement. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen, and I've been around and trained with a lot of world champions. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has been largely unchallenged since turning professional in 1996, and that mark has been a big part of his identity and marketability. But what if he lost on May 2nd? That's the question father trainer Floyd Sr. was asked in a recent story by MLive.com. Floyd Sr. once fought and lost to the great Sugar Ray Leonard. He said, It would shock the hell out of me, but you've still got to live on, man. I'm not going to hide because it happened, but better yet, to be honest, I'm just saying that it's God's will. Phil Boxing also posed that to Pacquiao. He dismissed the idea of failure on May 2nd. As everybody is saying, the coming fight is the most important and the biggest in my life, so why think of losing? That is why I am calling all our countrymen back home and elsewhere to unite, pray for me, and watch the fight because this fight is for them and the Philippines. And lastly, few things get the fans excited for a big fight like the official pay-per-view trailer. It's time. Two legends. One destiny. The Pacquiao vs. Mayweather commercial was finally released at midnight Tuesday Manila time via social media channels. All roads end here. The two mugged for the cameras in their boxing attire with the MGM Grand in Las Vegas on the horizon. If that wasn't intimidating enough, perhaps they should have shown the nearly $100 price tag for the pay-per-view as well. The high definition broadcast will be $25 more expensive than the previous record of $75 set by Mayweather's 2013 fight against Canelo Alvarez. That's all for this week. Rappler will be bringing you updates each week as we count down to the fight of this century on May 2nd. Until next time, have a good one.